Imagined by Peter A. B. Widener, entrepreneur and philanthropist, collector and devoted family man. Linwood Hall, known as the last American Versailles, was built to keep close the things that mattered most to him, his art and his family. With 110 rooms on 34 acres, Linwood Hall, a neoclassical revival masterpiece, was designed by internationally renowned architect Horace Trumbauer. Built between 1897 and 1900, it remains the largest surviving Gilded Age mansion in the Philadelphia area. After decades of neglect and decline, this once great mansion sits ever patient like a chrysalis, waiting to one day be reborn as a premier venue to display world-class art, as well as a showcase for a bygone era of architectural excellence and beauty, and a channel for education and inspiration. The largest and most ambitious restoration and educational project ever proposed in the United States, the preservation of Linwood Hall aims to restore the mansion and its gardens to their original splendor. Once envisioned as a place for the Widener children and their families to unite, Linwood Hall will soon be a place for the world's families to come together and enjoy, thanks to the Linwood Hall Preservation Foundation. With a shared passion and resolve to save and restore this great American artifact, the Linwood Hall Preservation Foundation plans to continue the work Widener began by positively impacting our culture and society with respect and appreciation for what was and what can be. Education, sustainability, and art preservation are all integral parts of this multi-phased restoration project that will offer the community access to inspirational jobs and educational opportunities in art history, artisan restoration, sustainability, architectural design, horticulture, and the skilled trades. But to preserve and gift this great property to future generations, we need your help. Join us as we begin our journey to bring Linwood Hall back for generations to come. Linwood Hall Preservation Foundation. We look to the past to inspire the future.